What's up guys, my name is Kel and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Odin Sphere Leaf Thrizer. So in the last episode, we were on the hunt for Brigan again. God, I fucking hate this guy. And it'll be good to kill him again, because he's a douche. Um, take a look at the map real quick. We just have, what, four or five rooms to do? Um, I guess uh, seven, including the boss and this uh, rest stop right here. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's get on with it. I've been playing a lot of uh, The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine the last uh, couple days. I've been trying to get through it so I can, so I can write a review for it. Um, once again, I know it's going to be super late. I don't know how many people are going to watch it, but I, I, I think I want to do a review, for it, uh, a review for it anyway because maybe people haven't even picked it up yet. There have been a lot of sweet games recently, and I can totally understand if people haven't even like had the chance to pick it up. Maybe they were like... Yo, um, I'm just gonna wait until after Dark Souls 3, until after maybe Odin Sphere, if you're into Odin Sphere. Probably, well, you, you might be into Odin Sphere. I mean, you're watching this video. Hopefully, it's at least making you into Odin Sphere, because this game's awesome. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of other games, too, coming out, like, later this year. There's, um, supposedly No Man's Sky, whenever that fucking finally comes out. Um, I'm actually looking forward to that. I don't know if I'll be playing it on the channel. I might. You know, I think it might be cool to play No Man's Sky on the ch Oh, it's still another dude left. I think it might be cool to play No Man's Sky on the channel. And then, like, you know, name my, uh, my systems after various things. Like my star systems and, and stuff. And then also, like, see if you guys can find them. I mean, probably not, but... I mean, that'd, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? I think it would. Um, yeah, so, No Man's Sky, something that I'm sort of looking forward to, but not super, um, not a whole lot. There are actually a couple, ooh, oh, there's a lot more to this level than I, than I thought. Well, I guess we'll go up first. I guess we're gonna do, like, a mini-boss here, or challenge room. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a trial. Whoa! Well, just fighting one of these is pretty easy, so let's see if two is going to be any easier. Yeah, I should definitely focus on... Uh-oh, my power's low. Get the healing tonic. There we go. Anyway, uh, th there's a lot of other games that I'm looking forward to that are coming up um, semi-recently. I wouldn't say soon. Uh, but, but semi recently, or semi, uh, semi recently is not the right, 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 right not the right wording. It's uh, more like in the future. You know, I think it's probably a good chance to use some of our potions. We've been stocking up a little bit. Here's a blaze. Um, here's a cyclone that's sending my <laughs> the potion away. Ah, oh, crap! I wanted to juggle him a bit. No, no worries, man. Um, I, I'm actually thinking about making a video about my, like, top five anticipated games. Not necessarily of 2016, but also possibly of just 2016 and 2017. Just games that are coming out in general. Hold on, I need to... I should definitely use a healing to tonic. I saw I had a drain. I'm not entirely sure what that does, in all honesty. Alright, so that, that guy's dead. Jeez, these, these guys are... I mean, it is a trial room. And I think the other trial room was probably the hardest other room that I've, like, had to face so far. I can imagine, um, if I'm playing this on hard, I wouldn't be able to just dick around and talk like I'm doing right now. There we go, we got him. Anyway, yeah, I, I was thinking about doing a top five anticipated games of upcoming anticipated games, I suppose you could say. They, they would be games like, um, well, like Neo, for example, because I already made a video about that. Um, I'm not going to say what the other ones are, just in case I actually do make this, like, this video. Let's use a healing tonic. But, yeah, then that's a possibility for the future. I already have my list written out. I just need to write a script and stuff. Um... Yeah. Anyway, um, I also want to finish uh, Blood and Wine. And I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. Lucky Mix? What the fuck is a Lucky Mix? 
first of all, I saw some weird stuff in here. So let's, let's check out weird stuff before I continue talking. Um, you know, drain. What the fuck does drain do? Drains HPs from... Oh. And generates bosons. That seems sweet. A bunch of toxins. A whole bunch of materials. Damn. Um, and we need to get rid of some of this. I guess we'll just eat the mulberry. What does this do? Miracle fruit. Max HP plus 50. We'll just eat it now. Yeah. I mean, even though it heals for like 2,000, the max HP will, will be will be good in the long run. What does this lucky mix do? I am curious. Increase the chance that enemies will drop items. Okay. So, I mean, that's if you want to farm something, I suppose. All good. Uh, let's see. Okay. Sorry, I had to fix something on my uh, my laptop screen. Anyway, let's just continue on. Ooh, there's a chest here. Have to keep an eye out for that. I wonder if we if we fall, we'll fall down there. That might be the case. No, oh, no, I'm dying, gargoyle. Here, I'll just shoot it. Or not. Whatever. Whatever works, man. Yes, he's gonna come alive. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't think a lot of people have picked up Witcher 3 Blood and Wine um, because there have been so many other things coming out recently. And that's totally, um, you know, totally, like, believable and totally cool. I mean, I can I can imagine. Because let's see, what, what if, what's come out since then? There's, like, people are playing um, Dark Souls 3, people are playing... Uh, I mean, if you're into, into like, stuff like Enter the Gungeon, you know, l lots of stuff. I'm sure there are many things that I'm just easily just forgetting about. Yeah, give me all that stuff. Fire spirits. Damn, there's a lot of different things that we haven't seen. Uh, summons fire elementals that attack nearby foes. Fuck, that seems sweet. Uh, let's see... Doesn't look like there's anything in this. Whoop. Uh, oopsie. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go down here anyway. Oh, you wouldn't be able to. I see the map. You wouldn't be able to go up. You have to go all the way around. Okay. I got. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, game. Go away. Go away, map. But yeah. I'm also currently, like, spending a lot of my time playing uh, the beta for a, whoop, it's a, it's a closed beta for a card game, uh, you know, digital card game called uh, Eternal, and as per terms of, you know, agreed terms of service for the beta, I can't talk about it, like, specifics or share any screenshots or do upload any videos or anything about that, um, but I will say that I think it's awesome. And it's made by um, some of the people who are magic, or I guess I shouldn't say some of the people, but it's made by, oh, shit, I have to fight this shit again. It's made by some professional magic players, including uh, Louis Scott Vargas, who if you play magic, you know who Louis Scott Vargas is basically. He's uh, one of the, I don't know, more well-respected members of the community. He's a pretty funny guy, and he's he's very very smart. He, he knows he knows his strategy and his uh, and his tactics. So yeah. Anyway, that's a glowing endorsement for the for the beta at least. It's really sweet. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll I'll definitely be covering it in the future when it comes out, and uh, likewise, I'll be definitely covering Gwent because I'm super excited for that as well. Um, cannot hold any more. You know what? I think it's time to just fucking get rid of some of this. So let's just level up some healing. Oh, no. no. It needs to be the other way around. We need to, uh, level up some healing. I'm just gonna use multi- Oh, damn. It doesn't increase it by, like, anything. Shit. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Is there, any, is there one of these that I can just pop off? Not really. 
right? You know what? I don't think I'll need this. Oops, I did not mean to do that, by the way. I didn't mean to mix it. I meant to just use it. Oh, well. It serves the same purpose. Like, invisibility? I, I can't imagine that's very useful. By the way, we have to replay all this stuff because I, I left the zone last time. On the last episode. Which is fine. I mean, it's not like this is hard or anything. Just wreck all these, uh, dwarven guys. Definitely should slide into it. Slide, slide, slippity slide. Is it in the city? Is it do or die? Is that the next lyric? I don't remember. Come along and ride on a fantastic. I don't actually listen to that kind of music. That's just something that I've retained from the 90s. I still think we need to like empty some space. What can we get? Can we just straight up get rid of? Hmm. Maybe we'll level up a blaze? No. Well, fuck it. We don't need another material to replace a material, so... Let's just use the key. We'll definitely need to sell some shit. Or bank some shit. Either way, get rid of some shit. Now, it looks like we cannot. So let's head back to a rest stop. Um, right here. Piece of candy. Where are you? What's up, bro? Shh, shh, shh. So it's a vaguely, um, stereotypical guy. I just like his uh, outrageous, outrageous voice. You know what? Can I mix materials with other materials to just make better materials? I know I just said the word material a lot. But, you know, that, that was by, by design. It's not by much at all. Like, look at this shit. It's like... It's like nothing. It barely levels, barely levels it up at all. I mean, it would be better served to just sell them. I would... No! Yeah, I'm just gonna sell a lot of them. They don't sell for a whole lot, but we don't need this much. And we definitely don't need a lot of this stuff either. The healing tonics will be useful. We really need to get find... Get find? Really need to find, um... Like, uh, backspace upgrades. I think on this boss fight, I'm gonna use a lot of my potions. I'm just gonna chuck them at him. Because... You know, I'd rather do that than just storm in my box and forget about him. Like I did for a lot of Gwendolyn's stuff. Alright, boss time. Gonna kill me a brigand. Going brigand hunting. Yes, I'd like to challenge this powerful foe. <laughs> He's just fucking sitting in his own feast and filth. Ugh. Hey, hurry up! Bring me more drink! Odin, can't you see that women are far more useful off the battlefield? God, everything he says makes me want to slap his fucking face. What do you want? No questions. Just fucking cut him down. You must be Lord Brigand. Although I take this form, I am Prince Cornelius of Titania. I have come here today to borrow that horn for a just cause. I don't know what this is about, but you're an irritant. Puka, you want this horn? I'll trade your skin for it. Deal. Yeah, but with so little fur, I won't be able to do much with it. Oh yeah, this guy's fucking going down. General Brigand. General Brigand, shit lord. Oops. See if he'll do anything different this time. We need to break the the shields off of his chest before we can do any damage to him. They're almost gone though. And yep, there we go. Time to get wrecked, fool. The blaze. For 20 blaze it. And again. And let's do this fire spirit thing. That seems sweet. Uh, we're gonna about to get hit by something. 
Overload. Nah, we'll use Toxic. We'll save the Overload for someone challenging. Brigand's just gonna get shit on. Whoops. It's kinda hard to see what he's doing with all the all the shit going around. Wrecked, fool. Fucking wrecked. Look on the other side. Fucking no mercy. Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to keep the combo up. Oh, I feel sorry for these Valkyries. Sorry, ladies. You just... Wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> Oops. There we go. I uh, got low P. Actually, just low power. Is he like stunned? Oh no no! She was filling up his drink. Nice. Nice of you to just stand there and face the other direction. Oh, he's doing like some stampy stamps. Oh crap! I walked right into it. You know, he's gonna do some more stamps. Whoa! Here, what's the mean on the other side? <laughs> oh, fuck, dude, he's a volcano, bro. I did zero damage to him. There we go, stunned him. Oh, his, uh, some of his shields are back. Alright, alright, alright. There we go. Uh, let's do another volcano. There we go. He was a little, slightly surprising, but we ended the fight with, like, full health. What's up, Odin? Totally beat the shit out of your general. No. Prince of Titania. Also, he's a fucking dick. I praise your bravery and welcome you as a guest of our kingdom. The Netherworld's queen. She called me that as well. I would like to ask you, why do you call me Puka? Those like yourself, who have been cursed into the form of beasts, are known as Pukas. It is a powerful curse. Not even I, knower of thousands of magics, can break it. Hmm. If someone's trying to trap me, I must stop them. Your Majesty, tis my wish to return to my homeland as soon as possible. Do as you wish. Gwendolyn, escort the Prince to Ragnanovo's border. As you wish. I appreciate your help, King Odin. My apologies for my behavior. I was unaware of your impressive skills. No, thank you for your hospitality. It seems like so long ago since I was in my own land. Yay, monologue time. I can now finally return to my country, Titania. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to go over well. Two princes and the treasured sword. Okay. Ooh, we should probably... Read this. Um, when Galen, the previous king of Titania... Yet lived, Ragnanoval gifted them with the treasured sword. Pardon me, as proof of their alliance. It was set with the magical blade known as the cipher, but in Titania it is now known as a cursed blade. So goes the story. Of the royal sons, the elder took a liking to the mystic sword, and the king gave it to him graciously. As he brandished the blade, however, he accidentally injured his father. Though a minor shallow cut, the king was enraged. The normally gentle monarch's furor. Shocked his vassals. Though even the younger son pleaded his father's forgiveness, the king grew cold and distant from the elder. Eventually, the elder son renounced his royal blood and fell and fled with his lover. Since that day, the treasured sword has been thought cursed and was buried in the darkness of history. An account of the royal family's incident with the cursed sword, the source of King Galen's rage, was never truly clarified, and a mystery surrounds the tale. Hmm. Got a frozen on prism. Thousand prism. 
I think we still need one more uh, skill point or whatever. So what is this? Passive, passive, active. Surround yourself with electric shots. Okay, cool. I'll make that my up skill, I suppose. And I think I want to level up our cipher. Yeah. Get that five attack in. We could probably level up something else. Eh, maybe not. And down here, this is what I was talking about. I want, I want to get. Oh, we already got it. Okay, what do I want to get next? Has to be one of these two things, unless I wanted to go like save up and get this. Possibly. Um, I think I'll just do the HP recovery. I'll just do the HP recovery for now. That seems pretty useful. Cool. Uh, yeah, I would like to save. As you can see, there's my backup save up top. It is the exact same as uh, this current save. I'm not going to save over right now. Just in case something happens with the video, I can always go back. That is the point of the backup save. Titania Capital. Oh, dude, I'm in Titania already? Sweet. The once Yay, new area. King Edmund was once the savior of the land, but he has waned in recent years. Criminals and sorcerers now roam the streets as if they owned the city. Guess my dad's not doing a very good job. I saw Prince Cornelius walking down the street. They say that the prince has been spending time in the bad part of town. It's as if he's a new man. Oh, doppelganger. People have seen me? That's ludicrous. Is someone pretending to be me? Oh. The doppelganger. Welcome to Titania. I haven't been too profitable lately, but take a look. Okay. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Spirit stone. Uh, we can pass on that. Now you can basically pass on all this stuff. Peace out, dude. Oop, another guy. Okay. Take a peek at my wares. Why are there two vendors? Why can't there just be one vendor with the fucking same, same shit? Alright, whatever. Oh, I guess we're going to the Force of Elrit, not actually uh, Titania. All right, fair enough. I just noticed there's like a little tower on an island. I wonder if that has anything I to do with anything. To sneak in, but how will I be able to speak with my father? Someone's coming. I'll hide behind a pillar. Should probably do it instead of just talking about doing it. That little fiend. He plans to renege on our deal. That's me. What's going on? I suppose I will have to be harsh if it comes to that. Otherwise, we deceive the prince for nothing. So he's behind all this. I shall cut him down. Good thing he's monologuing to himself out loud. Here you are, Cornelius. Have you reached a decision? Yes, of course, Father. As you asked, I will break up with the girl from the forest. What? Very good. Now, go and tell her before you change your mind. Out of political expedience, I have been considering a marriage between you and King Odin's daughter. As you wish, Father. Pardon my impoliteness, but I would like to ask you something in return. What is it? The royal family's secret power. Of course. It, it, no such thing exists. Go on. Leave. Stop wasting time. <laughs> now, how did he find out about our secret power? Father! Who, who are you? Please listen to me. I am your son, Cornelius. The true prince of Titania. That man was an imposter. Are you some sort of jester? 
Do not ridicule me, beast. I have changed since we last spoke. I said I would abdicate my position. How do you know that? I am your true son. Father, you must believe me. No, you can't be. What are you saying? What? Wait! How did you get that sword? It was given to me. A terrifying voice in the netherworld told me that it belongs to Titanian royalty. I would never mistake that blood-smeared sword. In the netherworld? Oh... No, it can't be! Guards! Guards! Take that cursed sword and get it away from me! Father, what is wrong? You lie, whoever you are! Father, please! Damn, these guards are huge. I swear by the heavens that I am Cornelius! Ask me anything about myself. I'll prove it. I can answer any question. Throw him out! Now! Immediately! Father! Alright, well that went down about as well as I expected. How shameful. I'm so alone. To be treated so by my own father. Is it useless to fight back, as the Queen of the Netherworld said? <sighs> no, I cannot give in. I love the princess too much to let that happen. That imposter said that he was on his way to see Princess Velvet. He must be in Elrit Forest. Alright, well, that makes sense as to why we, uh, clicked the forest on the map screen. This is a very, very pretty forest. Battle stage. Kill these little fucking peckers. I guess they're goblins. Whoops. That was a miss. Probably use the uh, spin to win. Not the, uh, yeah, I should probably just use this. Oh, you know, I got that, I got the new skill, too. Let's equip the new skill, check it out. Uh, yeah. Check it out, and the, you know what, I'm probably actually gonna have to end the episode soon. But if there's any enemies in here, I want to check it out on them. There, there's literally nothing in this room. Okay, we'll, we'll do one more. One more room. Just one more level. Okay, well, that, that's pretty explanatory. Okay, wreck Berenstein Bears. Combo the shit out of. Damn, those guys got fucking owned. That's what I like to see. We got a thingy. A churro recipe. Oh, dude, churros are delicious. That doesn't look that delicious. All you need is an egg. He's pretty good. Hopefully, we'll meet uh, our puka friend, uh, Morris, I believe. Muggle seed. Um. I mean, I guess we just. Plant one muggle. We'll eat it. But then again, it just like sprouts its own. Oops. Yeah, I guess we'll eat it. Or we won't, we won't eat it. We'll, we'll grow it and then just hold on to it. Ooh, there's a Fozon prism over there. Okay, anyway, I think we're gonna end the episode here. If you guys liked the video, then maybe leave a like, maybe even subscribe. Every little bit helps, and I appreciate it so, so much. Um, regardless of what you do, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time for more Odin Sphere as we continue to go through Elbert Forest. Hopefully, 
We don't have to fight Velvet at the end of the episode. Maybe we'll fight the doppelganger guy. Anyway, yeah. I uh, hope to see you guys next time. See you then.